Hey, hey, everybody. Hope you're doing well. God bless you. Want to talk about eight behaviors of sexually healthy men, eight behaviors of sexually healthy men. Number one, making sure that you get regular exercise. So get out there. If you like to jog, run, play basketball, football, you know, play soccer or football, all depending on the country that you're in. If you like, you know, swimming, hiking, whatever it is, find something that you enjoy doing, stick with it, make a habit out of it. And this will help to help you <laughs> and make you healthy overall and definitely help you in the bedroom, give you that extra push you know, and help you to go a little longer, you know? All right. Number two, making sure that you choose healthy foods. Again, find foods that you enjoy eating, not the unhealthy ones, but the ones that will be good and provide good nutrients for your body. All right. So fruits, nuts, vegetables, grains, any type of protein, look for things that are going to promote good health. And again, let go of the other ones that aren't so healthy for you. If anything, eat those sparingly, if not at all. All right. Number three, Kegel exercises. And so those are exercises that are strengthening your pelvic muscle area. And those, you know, definitely if you're engaging in sex with your wife, you know, you're going to need to be strong in your pelvic area. So doing exercises in that area to strengthen it is going to be key. All right. Number four, have an annual checkup. So that could be across different, you know, physicians. You could see your primary care doctor just, you know, for an annual checkup. You can see your dentist for good oral hygiene, you know, making sure everything is okay in the mouth. And you could also see your uh, urologist also as well, if you're of a certain age. And then I think it's over 40 to make sure that you have your prostate checked from, you know, as often as you need to. And then any other type of um, checkups that your doctors may recommend. And so just, just making sure that you have annual checkups, see your doctors as often as they are needing for you to see them. Uh, and make sure that you're healthy overall, all right? Because if you're not healthy, then you're not going to be of use to anybody, all right? So be healthy so you can take care of yourself, take care of your spouse. Cut back on the alcohol, you guys. Let go of the alcohol. Me, I would just say let go of it, but that's just me. <laughs> Coming from my background and the clients that I've worked with, alcohol can be, you know, be a real mess up. But if you know how to hold your alcohol, again, limit it. Other people, again, I would just say cut back on it overall because it can, it's a depressant. And again, it, it depresses you. It makes you kind of relax. Some people, oh, I feel relaxed and what have you. And again, it may lead you to feel or act relaxed in the bedroom and not be up to par in your uh, performance with your spouse. And so keep that in mind also as well. You make a choice and do what's good for you. Stop smoking also as well. Again, it's going to in interfere, again, messing with your oral health and over also with your body as well and with your lungs and how you're breathing. You're not going to be able to breathe as well as if you weren't smoking. And so again, and your performance in the bedroom, it may not be as good as you would like it to be because again, you can't keep up. You're not breathing well. Your lungs, you know, it's like, what do you do? So keep that in mind. Stop smoking. Learn stress management. Find good stress management tips that work well for you. All right. So whether you're journaling, whether you're exercising, uh, going out with friends, find some kind of hobby. Have a list of hobbies that you enjoy doing and practice those. And again, eating healthy and exercising are also good stress management skills that you can incorporate into your life. But making sure, again, you know what's good for you. It's not a one-all be-all for everybody. Do what's good for you. And the last one that we have here, so do not do illegal drugs, all right? Please don't. Don't be taking drugs that, you're, that are not prescribed to you. Don't take drugs that are illegal. Again, uh, they can either be stimulants. Again, will send you super high and, you know, and that won't be healthy. You know, it can mess with your heart and then cause, you know, other problems, lead you into the hospital. I've heard stories of, you know, men, God bless their hearts, they took medicines too much of what they need, didn't need to take that wasn't prescribed to them. And then they ended up in the hospital with, you know, say an erection that wouldn't go down type of situation. And again, it's very, very painful. Also, doing illegal drugs can affect you and make you depressed, you know, sad, and just, you know, get you addicted. And it's not a good place to be in. So these are some things you should think about, all right? Eight behaviors of sexually healthy men, regular exercise, eat healthy foods, Kegel exercises, have an annual checkup, cut back on the alcohol, no smoking, no illegal drugs, and find good stress management tips that work well for you. I hope this has helped. Take care, you guys. Bye. <laughs>